Gav, we're here at Liversidge after today's West Yorkshire derby. It's ended in a 1-0 win for us on the road. Give us your thoughts as an overview on that, that match there for us. I uh, thought a great performance from the lads. Um, really solid. I think defensively, probably the best we've been for, for a while. Um, restricted them to not many chances at all. Um, dealt with a win first half, which was really difficult. Seemed to die down a bit uh, second half, so we didn't quite have, have the advantage there. But um, great shift for them all. Um, great, great. Uh, you know, in terms of work rate and, and the effort levels were, you know, really good. Um, and I thought the quality at times, we, you know, we could have scored a few more. Um, real threat from set pieces again. Um, you know, about time we, we scored from one of them. Um, and you know, it's pleasing to see that we can put that together now and hopefully build on that moving forward. Obviously, you mentioned on the chances that we had. I think in the in the first half, probably by the half hour point, we could have been two or three ahead. Yeah. To be able to to then keep going again in the second half and, and keep pushing for that for that eventual goal, Stacey pops up and scores scores from the corner, and then we we even looked like scoring again from there. How pleasing was it that we didn't look like we were just going to sit back and and take what we had? Yeah, very pleasing. Obviously, the easy thing is to once you're ahead to sit back and you know let them come on top of you. Um, and get deeper and deeper as, as a team, but I thought you know we didn't. We, we kept pushing. Um, we looked like we were going to get the next goal and, and go on and you know make it more clear cut. So that that was really pleasing, you know, to see. Um, I think the fitness level showed in the boys being able to do that and keep us up that end of the pitch and, and in their half. Um, so yeah, really pleasing. And in, in terms of getting back on the winning trail again after the the second half performance away at Hebben, I think this this 90 minutes that we put in today was kind of a reflection on that second half. How pleasing was it that, that the lads have been able to pick up from where they left off? Yeah, very pleasing. Um, that's that's what we said to them after the game at Hebben um, and in training you know, last week or two. We said build on that second half performance, believe in yourselves because we showed exactly what we're about in that second half. Um, and you know, we did that today. So the boys just need to believe in, some, in themselves now. We've got loads of good players in the group, um, ability wise and, and fitness wise and, and the character today showed again, being able to, you know, fight for second balls and, and cover the ground that we did. So we just need to keep believing ourselves now and, and move on. We, we, as you say, moving on, we've got a, a busy schedule coming up, a number of games that have been rescheduled that will be dropping into the uh, the fixture schedule. How important is it to, to put this kind of run together now as we head into the the final stages of the, the second half of the season? Yeah, very important. Um, obviously, you look at the league table and it's, it's very tight. You know, we were saying before, if you put three, four, five games together, it can easily pull you, you know, into a really good position. Um, and that's obviously what we're looking to do. So a little bit of consistency. Um, and like I say, we've got a busy period coming up if we can, you know, keep getting the results. And not only that, but if we can get the performances, we know, you know, most of the time we'll, we'll get the right results. It's all about performance and hopefully the results will follow. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Yeah. Cheers, mate.